When you hear the name Fat Sajak, what do you think? Of course, the host of Wheel of Fortune. Seen night after night in city after city all across the country and even in a couple of cities in Mexico where they smuggle the tapes in. Now, you may not know how Fat's career got started, so I'll tell you. When he was just a teenager growing up in Chicago, he won a contest on the Dick Biondi Show to be guest teen DJ on WLS. Not long afterwards, Uncle Sam came calling and Pat joined the United States Army and was sent to Vietnam. While a few of you might see the possibility that Pat would have been significant in combat, the truth is he served as a disc jockey on the Armed Forces Radio Network and kept everybody in such a delightful mood. After returning home, Pat went to work at Channel 4 WSM in Nashville, TV weatherman and weekend booth announcer, and that's when powerhouse WSM AM, or better known as 650 WSM Nashville, gave him the job of afternoon drive. Still to this day, air checks float around of Pat talking up the vocal of a Helen Reddy record. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. That's called Leave Me Alone. It's Helen Reddy at 312 at WSM. Suppose you read by wow. When he left, he was replaced by another of tonight's inductees. But that's another story. Let's just say both men, to this day, have great hair. Well, a few years into the gig, Pat got a call from Channel 2 in Los Angeles, KCBS, where he went to be a TV weatherman. That's when he caught the eye of Merv Griffin. And the rest, as they say, is history. It's hard to believe, but for over 30 years, Pat's been spinning the Wheel of Fortune. But he's never forgotten his radio roots. As a matter of fact, to this day, Pat owns and operates two radio stations in Maryland. He is a great representative of our industry. And we're proud to welcome, as our newest inductee, Pat Sajak. Thank you. Thank you very much. Please, everyone, take your seats. Thank you. I'm just going to wait for the applause to, to die down. I'm guessing it has by now. <laughs> and I didn't want to start in case uh, Wink Martindale hadn't finished his speech from last year. Uh, th this is a great honor for me, uh, the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, and an unexpected one. My, uh, my radio career in Nashville was fairly limited. I was on for about three years, two hours a day in the afternoon, so I didn't have an extensive radio career, so we had to make some concessions to get into the Hall of Fame. I get in, but I don't get a key to the men's room. That's the only uh, difference. But as I look back, I think about uh, the guys I worked with, I mean, Al Vex was with me every day doing the news, and we had some great fun. Al is retired now. Al was retired then, now that I think about it. I used to sit in for uh, Teddy Bart on The Waking Crew. That was great fun. I know Teddy's still doing the noon show, and I'm sure it's absolutely fabulous. Um, I kid. But I look back at Nashville with great affection. I've uh, been very lucky in my career, and things have gone pretty well. But that's where I got my start, in radio and in television. I miss radio. I miss Nashville. I made a lot of great friends there, many of whom continue to be friends. Uh, Mike Bohan is an example of something. Uh, but <laughs> And I've lost some friends, too, I'm sorry to say. But... Uh, they will always be in my heart, as will Nashville. Again, to the Tennessee Radio Hall of Fame, thanks so much for this honor.